Hi, I'm Fred Grant, the director for this project. What you're about to watch is a concept teaser for a medieval fantasy series called Of Kings and Dragons. This proof of concept was filmed entirely in the state of Georgia. The wardrobe was in part provided by Museum Replicas Limited, and the armor at the end was provided by Aegis Steamcraft. Now please sit back, relax, and enjoy. A thousand years ago, there was a great and horrible happening. This occurrence left the fate of all humanity, or maybe even all of existence, to an end. What was it? Well, somewhere in this world, there rested a giant crypt where a mighty behemoth slumbered. One day, the mighty dragon Batulf was awakened by the most evil and darkest of magic. Who could have done such a thing? Well, no one knows. But what happened next was... What was it? What happened, Father? Tell me. Oh, once Batulf was awakened, he left villages, towns, even entire cities to ruin. Not a soul alive could escape its horrible wrath. Some say that his breath alone would erupt in an inferno scorching the sky. I'm sorry. Shall I read you another story? You seem frightened half to death. No, I'm all right. You can go on. What happened next? Well, good, because this is the best part. Well, just as all would seem lost, one brave knight appeared wearing the Crystal of the Light. Using the power of the crystal, he slayed the mighty beast with his sword, putting an end to Batolf's chaotic reign of mayhem and bloodshed. Afterward, the dragon slayer vanished and was never heard from again. I like to think that he returned home and had a grand hero's feast that lasted weeks, and that he died a fat, fulfilled old man. Jacob, I know that one day you will accomplish great things, and I encourage you to reach out for your destiny and never ever give up or lose sight of it. What was that? Good night, my son. I'll see you in the morning. Jacob, come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Where are we meeting today? Father said lessons were going to take place in the field outside town. Come on, let's go. Wait up, Michael. Again. <clears throat> Again. Again. Michael, I said again. But you're not trying hard enough. You've got to feel the fire inside yourself. I'm trying, it's just too hard. Yeah, I can't do it either. Boys, the one thing we Prashan are known for is our use of fire magic. Now, what kind of men of Prashan would you be if you cannot conjure a simple fire magic spell? Well, maybe you should show them again. Fine. I'll show you one more time, so watch closely. Jacob, you channel it through your body and into the air around you. But once you begin to feel that spark beginning to grow, you release it all at once like... <laughs> Awesome. I'm afraid that's all for today, boys. I'm completely drained of energy. What about you, Dad? I'll have to try again another time. I've got to meet with the blacksmith in an hour. Come on, we'll start heading back. Jacob, is something wrong? 
Father, if you don't mind, I'd like to stay here and practice for a bit on my own. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh no, the boys are nearly men. I think it'd be responsible enough not to wander off. Besides, Michael can stay and keep him company. I guess you're right, Jasper. Boys, stay close to the path. If you see anything dangerous, come straight back to town. Don't worry, we'll be just fine once we conjure up some fire magic. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Come on, Arnaud. Let the boys have their fun. I'll buy you a pint when we get to town. Farewell, Father. I thought they'd never leave. All right, now that the grown-ups are out of the way, you might want to sit down for this. Why did you do that? Wait, why didn't you do that earlier? What, it make you look bad? Truth is, I figured it out earlier while everyone's backs were turned. It's really quite easy once you understand how it works. That was amazing. Don't worry, now it's your turn. Okay, but... Just give it another try. Hold up your hand like so. It uses energy just like running, eating, or breathing. Eventually, you realize it's just an extended version of yourself with a spark that can be ignited outwards. All right, now when I say give it everything you've got, remember, concentrate, breathe. Now? What was that? Over there. A manticore? What's it doing this close to town? That's really strange. Does it see us? I don't think so. Let's get back to town before it does. Should we tell someone about that manicure? Only if you tell him I killed it. You joke, but I'm serious. What if it wanders down to Prashan and attacks someone we know? Wouldn't you care the least bit? Suppose you're right. That's the thing I like most about you. I can always count on you to do the right thing. Look over there. It's coming from Prashan. You don't suppose anyone's practicing fire magic down there, do you? Doubtful. Come on, let's go. you're safe. Father, Jesper, where are you? Not to worry, Michael. Your father isn't here. Father, come on, get up. We have to get you out of here. Jacob, listen to me. There isn't much time. You must. <clears throat> Jacob, this is the one crystal of the light. You must keep it safe at all cost. What about you? Jacob, remember everything I taught you. And never forget to reach out and grab your destiny. And... Father! No! Come back! I'm 
such a valiant effort. Too bad it was in vain. Where is it? I know you have it. Don't want to tell me, huh? No matter. I'll find it once the fires are done burning this pathetic village to the ground. Ugh! Boy, you haven't seen the last of me. Hysterical. Feels like I drank all the wine in Ephria. <laughs> You're just a lightweight. Samson's got this riddle. I want you to solve it, okay? Take a shot on me. <laughs> all right, get on with it, old Come man. Come on, tell it, tell it. What is it that walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three legs at dusk? Uh, I, I don't know. I give up. A human! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got a better one. Who is it that walks on two legs in the morning and four legs in the afternoon? I don't know. Jacob! That explained the stench. He's gone and relieved himself in his linens. I guess your joke was just too much for him. Are you serious? <laughs> what a pity. You shall be missed, Samson. Should someone say a few words? Okay. Samson, you're a mean old grump. I never personally cared for you. But my boy Jacob was quite fond of you about the time uh, when I'm so glad he's dead. Correction, no one here loves you. You were a pig-hearted fool, and you got what you deserved. Amen. How was that? That was beautiful. Good. Well, uh, you know what to do. I'll get the armor. I'll get the purse. It's been 12 years, Father. We are still in the same place from hence we started. Thus far, Michael and I have only managed to become nomadic, dishonorable thieves. But I swear to you, I can do better. I will do better in this second chance at life that I have somehow been given. Better hurry up and finish. It's gonna be dark soon. How much further until we get to Xi'an? Five, 10 miles, give or take 20 or so. 20 miles? All right, we have to stop and get some food. I'm gonna be sick. I'm getting a little bit hungry myself. 
say. I bet that crystal you're always wearing around your neck would bring a hefty price to market. <laughs> oh, don't even think about it. I'm kidding, but seriously. You ever wondered how much something like that would be worth? If it is a real crystal of light? Well, Michael, it's not for sale, so you can just forget about it. Tell me please, what's my destiny?